My name is Kain Sandogenius and today I'm going to be talking about what is a dendrogram and we're actually going to take an example. Although the best way to understand what a dendrogram is, is actually to build one. But before I build it, uh, we build it together, let me just explain to you uh, a little concept. Uh, just, let's, just, let's just read this together. A dendrogram is a tree-like diagram obtained. This is a type of obtained from hierarchical clustering process. It indicates the merges or the splits carried out at each step of hierarchical clustering. So remember that my question and answers are actually meant for you to be able to understand this concept and be able to explain it in your own words. So now as we move up the tree, the branches fuse together to form larger clusters. So let's take an example. I'm going to now use some uh, imaginary data and then we are going, going to build up a dendrogram. So I'm going to start by drawing uh, a box that will contain all our data points. So let's say this box, actually I'm going to change something. Let me make it a little bigger. So just go this way a little. Where do I now draw the dendrogram? Okay, maybe I, I draw it here. So I'm going to draw my dendrogram here using another pen. So let's put in some imaginary data here. So we have a data points here. Actually, this takes from the previous uh, one we did. So we have a data point here. We have a data point here. We have another data point somewhere here. And then we have one data point here. We have one data point. Here we have one data point here, we have one data point here. <clears throat> okay. So I like to label these data points. So let's say this is uh, so that I can actually use them to draw use it to draw a dendrogram. So let's say this is uh, let's start with one. So this is one, two. Uh, let's call this three. Okay, there are, I'm missing out one because I actually prepared this. So let's say we have another data point and let's call it three. So I want you to follow this procedure because that is how we can build a complete dendrogram. We have, this is four, we have six, we have five, we have seven, we have eight, we have nine. So now we now want to perform the merges. Remember in uh, hierarchical clustering, you actually start merging the clusters. All right, now I'm going to take another color of paint. Let me use blue. So in the first step, I might choose to match the five and seven. So I'm going to say five and seven. So in this, I'm going to actually draw a line here. Okay, let me let me draw something better. So let's see. So uh, sometimes it's not easy to draw a straight line using this tablet. Okay, let's see. This is okay. So I'm going to match five and seven. So this way, I'm going to draw a line connecting five and seven like this. Okay. So five and seven, we actually match five and seven like this. Okay. The next step is to now think of the closest one, and it seems the closest one is going to be 8. So let's make 5, 7, and 8. So we have 5, 7, and 8 made. So let's just put 8 here. This is 8. So I'm going to draw it upwards and also draw this one upwards and just match 5, 7, and 8. So 5 and 7 match with 8. I would like to match this time, I'm going to add 9 to the equation. So I'm going to mean that this we're going to match up with 9. So in that way, I'm going to put 9 right here. This, this is 9. And just match it with 5, 7, and 8. So this is 5, 7, and 8, just make it with 9. <clears throat> I mean, just this has to be continuous. 
the next one is uh, let's say I think the next one should be two so we are connecting with two right okay so I'm going to put two right here two I'm going to draw a vertical line of what I made five seven eight and two permit me to okay let, let's let's just continue so the next one should be what should be maybe we can go with three mm -hmm. so five or maybe we can go with one so five seven eight uh okay so perhaps we can just make six and one now you can actually make a different set of items in another place so i can do something like this six and one so in this place i make six and one so in this way this is what i have so now i can choose to make this big one which is actually what we have here and this six and one i can make the two but instead of doing that i can just decide to make six make with four so i'm going to make i'm going to put four here and i'm going to say six match with six and one made with four so this is what we have so we now have the next one should be three so i'll choose to make three with this so this will be three so six one and four will be made with three so this is what we have all right <clears throat> So in the final step, I can now make these two clusters. So that way, let me let me just use another pen. So I can just make this cluster in this way. So this is the end of the clustering, and this we have our then draw gram. So this is how to build a dendro dendrogram, and it's very important for you to know how it works. It shows a and the split, and also it's like a tree that is upside down, where the leaves are below, and the, the branches are up, uh, facing upwards. So I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video, and feel free to like this video and share it around with your friends. In the next lesson, which is next question, which is question 15, we are now going to look at what is spectral cross, uh, clustering.